Line Gorilla dynasties was now exerted by Confucians. Its lay adherence was more commonly the illiterate peasant of the countryside and women rather than the educated male elite of the cities, as had been the case in ages past. Buddhism had become ineffective in generating response to this Confucian challenge. Foreign pressures on the late Joseon court brought the first real break in this state of affairs. It was Japanese lobbying that, that forced the uh, Gojong government to remove restrictions on Buddhist activities in the capital. But Japanese support for Buddhism was hardly generous. Periodic attempts were made to force Korean Buddhism to merge with one or another Japanese sect. The most serious threat to the Korean traditional Buddhism was the Japanese support for a married clergy during the Korean, uh, Japanese colonial times. Since Korean Buddhists had traditionally observed celibacy, this step threatened the ethical basis of the religion and led to serious upheavals within the temple. The conflict between the married and celibate uh, factions intensified with the liberation from Japan after the World War II, and especially after the Korean War ended in 1953. The celibate monks sought to reassert what they perceived to be the indigenous life phase of Korean Buddhism and to remove all traces of Japanese influence. So the celibate launched a vigorous campaign against the married monks who had dominated the high status in the monasteries during the Japanese colonial period. The married monks presented themselves as devoted to teaching. Pictures they claimed were but ignorant meditators unable to teach because they did not have the requisite knowledge of Buddhist doctrine. Simply uh, because the bhikshus or celibate did not mean they were superior to the married monks. Government support for the celibate monks ultimately culminated in a series of uh, litigation success. In 1961, the Supreme Court ruled in, in, in favor of the celibate monks and formally awarded the celibate title to all of the major monasteries of Korea. The loss of most of its major monasteries was a major blow to the married monks. Since 1962, uh, the Joge order by Selvan monks became the sole order to officially inherit the 1600-year-old traditions of Korean Buddhism. Uh, the need for the Uh, reorganization of the traditional curriculum. In the last 30 years or so, the traditional curriculum and the temple sangha college system have been under attack. Be it in internal Jogi order seminars, Buddhist journal articles, or online blogs, prominent monastics have frequently criticized the system for being archaic, outdated, incomprehensible, intolerable, lacking, and internally incoherent and called for reforms. As early as 1995, Venerable Soram argued that the main problem with the education system was the backwardness of the curriculum. It reflected uh, certain historical Buddhist trends spe specific to Korea, but had very little relevance to the world today, he claimed. Similarly, Venerable Hyunso claimed that the curriculum reflected particular uh, Chan meditation for the 17th century Korean mountain Buddhism and was thus not really representative of Buddhism in general. Others argued that sticking to such an ancient curriculum in today's modern information society makes Korean Buddhism uh, seem archaic and irrelevant. The context underlying, underlying these critics seems to have been the changing conceptions uh, regarding the fu uh, fundamental objectives of mountain educa uh, monastic education. As self-perceptions of monastics in Korea gradually altered during the 20th century uh, from being mostly mountain chain meditation practitioners to placing increasing weight on their roles as Dharma propagators, Temple Sangha College education, uh, Temple Sangha College education began to be viewed not simply as a preparation for practice towards spiritual development, but also as a preparation for Dharma propagation. Thus, beginning in the 1990s, education critics argued that Temple Sangha College curriculums should be more 
comprehensive in order to create monastics that will be able to better explain Buddhism to the general public. In other words, monastic readers contended over and over again that the Temple Sangha college education should not be focused on Chan meditation alone, but convey an overall knowledge of Buddhism in its historical context and its relation to modern social ethics so it could be used let, uh, later in Dharma propagation and teaching to the laity. It is especially interesting to discover what it was exactly that many of these reformers viewed as the missing curricular components that would make a more general understand, uh, understanding of Buddhism possible. While uh, following earlier 20th century trend, contemporary monastic reformers generally believe this missing link to be the Theravada text of the Nikayas or their counterpart on Agamas. A temple college teacher from the Yangsa Temple, for example, argued that in a 2000 seminar that although the principles of the Theravada, uh, Theravadin Agamas are reflected in the Mayana Sutras, studying them separately would allow a better general understanding of Buddhism, and they must be added to the curriculum. The importance of running the Nikayas as a doctrinal basis for the purpose of understanding the supposed later minor text was emphasized. The head of the Jogi Education Department himself, showing uh, adopted Orientalist tendencies, stated in 2010 that one of the greatest problems with the traditional curriculum was that it was not sticking to what the Buddha actually taught as written in the Bali Canon. Early Buddhism was not part of the historical curriculum due to the lack of sources, he argued. But with the increasing availability of Korean translations, studying the Nikayas would be beneficial for understanding Buddhism systematically. The new Jogya uh, curriculum is thus revolutionary in both form and content. It embodies focal shift from canonical Chinese text to vernacular Korean textbook. From reading as a pr uh, practice to reading for knowledge, and first, most importantly, from a traditional text, uh, textually based Huai and Chen curriculum to a more universal ecumenical program that attempts to encapsulate Buddhism as a whole. Ironically, ever since the beginning of the 20th century, scholars of Korean Buddhism have often uh, characterized the nation's Buddhism as syncretic and all-encompassing. The traditional curriculum, however, was anything but all-encompassing. It reflected a very specific form of a textually based Kana Chen meditation. With the new curriculum, uh, curricular program, the Jogya Order has certainly become one of the most syncretic Buddhist institutions in the world today, encompassing Indian Buddhism, various Chinese minas schools, as well as Chan and modern interpretations of Buddhism. The new curriculum makes Korean Buddhism truly all encompassing. Now I'm going to introduce monastic uh, train system of the Jogya Order. The organization of and assessment of the Buddhist practice and training system. Jogya Order's training system can be broadly classified as elementary training, basic training, specialized training, extracurricular training, retraining. First is the post-training training for a minimum of five months. Second is the four years of training for novices undertaken in Temple Sangha Colleges, Donggung University of College of Buddhism, Chungang Sangha University, or elementary Chen or Sun Meditation Centers. These first two trainings must be completed by all Jogya Order monastics without exception. When the elementary training is completed, one can become a novice monastic. When the basic training is completed, one can take the full monastic vows and attains the qualification and wide right of being a Jogya Order monastic. So then force a specialized training and extra uh, curricular training where a monastic can pursue specific training after full, receiving full monastic ordination. Fifth is the rich training for monastics who have been ordained 10, 20, or and 25 years. This is not obligatory, but it is the training process uh, necessary to carry out certain responsibilities as set out by the order, and to hold the positions in, in, uh, in the order, as well as train disciples. Uh, 
elementary training, uh, post-train registra uh, registration, the monast uh, monastic prospects put aside their lifestyle to begin life as a renunciate at a new and unfamiliar temple. There is a need for the elder monastic to show exceptional in interest, consideration, and guidance so that the postulant accl accl acclimate well to temple life and correctly pursue the monastic path. The temple's elder monks, while living together with the postulants, must observe whether they have, a, have what it takes to make a future monastic by thoroughly examining the postulant resume, uh, maturation process, past awards and reprimand, family situation, and health history. After closely observing the attitude and the behavior of the postulant to determine that they have the sincere motivation for a renunciate, only then are they allowed to stay as postulant. The postulant who has taken the first uh, step must choose a vocation master that will lead them and guide them properly as practitioners. Once the vocation master is selected, the relationship cannot be canceled without mutual agreement. Therefore, this selection should be done cautiously. The vocation master must have been ordained for at least 10 years, is over 30 years old, passed the third level exa uh, monastic examination, and must be of at least a uh, Jungdok or Jungdok monastic rank. Hair-cutting ceremony and postulant robe. Hair-cutting ceremony is meaningful because it officially conforms the postulant as a member of the order. Therefore, uh, this is a formal ceremony which follows ceremonial uh, procedure with the monastic community in attendance. After this ceremony, the, mess, uh, the male postulant wear the brown robes and the female postulant wear the uh, orange robes. Admission into the postul uh, postulant training course. The postulant qualifications are high school graduate, over 15 years old, and under 50. Once the postulant is trained at home temple for at least five months, he or she enters the group postulant training course. The main contents of the training courses are novice vows, the admonition, admon admonitions to beginners text, life of the Buddha, elementary, doc uh, elementary doctrine, the Buddhist ceremonies. After the uh, completion of the training course, Passing, uh, by passing the fifth level monastic examination, the postulant takes the uh, uh, Shramanera or Shramanerika vows and becomes a novice. Basic training. This is the vow, then they become Shra, uh, Shramanera, and this is the, the uh, portal of the basic training. The basic training. Basic training is required uh, training that can be considered the most important among all the training programs and contents. Here the novice cultivates the basic knowledge that a fully ordained big or big shuni must possess. This four-year training takes place at the Temple Sangha College, Dongguk University College of Buddhism, Zhuang Sangha University, and the Elementary Sun Meditation Centers. During this time, Jogi Odo Tennis, the Vinaya original scriptures and Mayana scriptures, understanding of training, education, practice, uh, propagation, among others, are widely studied. There are certain uh, temple sangha colleges for Shramaneras and the six temple sangha colleges for Shramanerikas. Traditional temple life can be experienced at these colleges. In addition, it would not be an exaggeration to say that the majority of the basic training takes place at these colleges. Chuang Sangha, College Uni uh, Chuang Sangha University is a modern monastic training center built in uh, 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 1989 by the Juge Odo. The elementary sun meditation centers teach the basic necessary for uh, Ghana sun Korean uh, meditation training practice. After the official registration of the Juge Odo with the Korean government's Ministry of Culture and Public Information in 1962, Dongguk University's College of Buddhism was established with the goal of providing modern Buddhist education for monastics. The Temple Sangha Colleges are merely Jogi Order training institutions and not accredited universities. Chuang Sangha, College, Chuang Sangha University and Dongguk University are accredited universities. 
the curriculum of Modijo. This is a chance uh, center, and this is a uh, Mona meditation center, and this is the Chungang Sangha uh, University entrance, you know, the ceremony. Uh, the, the curriculum among these various uh, basic training facilities varies more or less, but the Temple Sangha College's curriculum are all the same. This was de decided at the 1984 Sangha College Teachers National Conference. This curriculum was devised to cultivate the basic understanding necessary for uh, Kano Asan, Korean uh, meditation training practice using traditional doctrinal education as the foundation. To supplement the Vinaya, Theravada scriptures, and Mayana scriptures, and to better understand the doctrine from different ideological perspectives, Theravada Buddhism, Abhidharma, uh, Madhyamika, Yogacara, Pure Land, Tantric Buddhism, and the Buddhism overview uh, have been added to the curriculum. In order to see Buddhism from a historical perspective, historic, uh, history of Buddhist uh, ideology, history of the Jogi Odo, history of Indian Buddhism, history of Chinese Buddhism, and history of Korean Buddhism have also been added. In addition, to strengthen an understanding of a modern subject, humanities, oriental ideology, Western philosophy, literature, and foreign languages have been added. As a reference, the following is the Heinza Temple Sangha College's curriculum. Just, uh, you can see the pro, uh, uh, curriculum there. I'm going to skip this one, and then I'm going to be. When the basic training is completed, the novice can take the first level monastic examination. If this test is passed, the novice can receive a full ordination of a bigo or a big, uh, biguni. Uh, number four, specialized training. Jogi Odo specialized training takes place in Sun Meditation Centers, the Sangha, Kale, uh, Sangha graduate, uh, graduate College, Vinaya Schools, specialized Sangha Colleges, etc. Over 2,000 Jogi Odo monastics in more than 90, 90 Sun Meditation Centers are keeping the practice tradition by practicing Sun Meditation during the summer and winter retreat sessions. There is only one Sangha graduate university at uh, Unesa Temple in uh, Gyeongbok Province. Here, the specialized and systematic course of scriptures and studies takes place. Future professors and specialized abilities are cultivated at this university. Specialized Sangha colleges were created for the systematic education. Uh, specialized scriptures or texts that fit the temple's tradition and character. Vinaya schools provide systematic Vinaya education. Goals of the uh, Vinaya school is to transmit correctly the monastic traditions and customs, and to, to prepare the monastics that will transmit the Vinaya. Ex uh, extracurricular training. The goal of extracurricular training are the cultivation of Buddhist art, such as the Buddhist culture. Uh, Buddhist art, Buddhist music, Buddhist architecture, and to strengthen the ability to propagate the Dharma. Another goal is to strengthen specialized training in the field of broadcast and print journalism that is necessary for Dharma propagation. In addition, there is a school of Buddhist ceremonial song and dance with a two-year specialized training and three years of uh, additional training. So this picture is the school of Buddhist ceremonial song and dance. Uh, retraining. Once the Jogi Odo monastic has been ordained, 10, 20, or 25 years, the monastic must complete the education course that falls on the retraining. Through this retraining, the monastic cultivates the character of a religious leader, is granted an opportunity to strengthen the bond with the other monastics participating in the education course and is supplied with the diverse information to acclimate with the modern changing times. Monastic examination and monastic rank. In the last several centuries, it seems that monastic hierarchies in Korea were based mostly on uh, seniority, uh, uh, seniority, uh, seniority in the Sangha, number of chain meditation rituals taken, and probably personal connections rather than on exams. Nevertheless, these days, the criteria for advancing in the mo monastic hierarchies in Jogi Oda is undergoing a great shift. Education has taken a primary role in the structure. 
and the modern unified objective examination system has been set as the main standard for advancing in rank and holding higher positions within the Jogi order today. So now, according to the uh, ordination age, the Jogi order monastic must complete the corresponding training. After the training, the monastic takes the examination. After passing the examination, the monastic is bestowed with the corresponding monastic rank. Conclusion. Despite the effort to modernize the education system by the Jogi Odo, there has been a strong demand to get out of the traditional Confucian educational system, which is done in classical Chinese, modernize the sutra schools, which are the uh, basic monastic uh, training institutions and make the graduate pro uh, programs more diverse and specialized. One main reason, main reason for the reorganization is the change of circumstances. For example, there are dramatically fewer people interested in monastic life. There are slightly more than 100 postulants who finished the Hengja training this year, compared to 528 in 2000 and 512 in 2016. In addition, only 50 to 60 monastics are enrolling at Zhuang Sangha University compared to the standard of 120. Another concern is that new monastics who do not know classical Chinese must go through the current system, which is based on classical Chinese. Many monastics have shown interest in a modern curriculum. Another reason for the reorganization is that there are plenty of qualified teachers for the modern curricula, including over 200 monastics who, finished, who have PhDs or finished their doctoral courses. In these circumstances, a particular historical curriculum model was authorized in the early 20th century as the traditional Buddhist education system, then was gradually unified into a four-year sequence and subsequently made mandatory by Jogi Oda law. Although uh, along with this uh, curricular canon, the daily schedules and teaching qualifications, vacation date, and other Sangha college regulations were also gradually systematized throughout the century. At the same time, additional subjects were added to the curricular, reflecting contemporary trends in Buddhist studies abroad. Independent female monastic Sangha colleges were established in the latter half of the century, and the various higher educational institutions for monastics were opened both in the mountains and in Seoul. By the, by the end of the 20th century, a clear-cut distinction between traditional education at the mountain monastic Sangha colleges and the modern education in Seoul Donggung University and the Jungang Sangha University was apparent. This clear-cut distinction soon became blurred with the 21st century Sangha college reforms. Thank you.